Hello, in this video we will discuss about the positive feedback mechanism of oxytocin and prolactin. Basically, the oxytocin and prolactin is involved for the lactation of milk. On the other hand, oxytocin play important role with the pair bonding uh, with female to male as well as the female to baby. So this is the um, hormone which that is recognized. This is uh, my love. So here is the high brain center. This is the brain, higher brain center we learn and stimulate the oxytocin with their respect to their uh, children or with their baby. So here is the nerve cell which that is arise from the somatosensory cortex. This somatosensory cortex nerve which that is stimu stimulate uh, by the, uh, by the uh, neurotransmitter release. So in this way, in this way the basically the hypothalamus is here which that is the pituitary gland. So hypothalamus is the part of the brain also pituitary gland, endocrine gland, endocrine hormone production from the pituitary gland. So pituitary glands contain a, uh, pituitary gland contain a three lobe. So here we will discuss about just two lobe. Adenohypophysis is the anterior lobe while the neurohypophysis is the posterior. So hypothalamus contain a cell uh, basically also but on the case of basically is the neurosecretory cells while the neurosecretory cells of the nerve so which that is stimulate different hormones by a pituitary gland. So here is the PIH cell are present in the hypothalamus prolactin inhibiting hormone uh, prolactin inhibiting hormone cell. So basically this cell will be inhibited by the uh, neurosecretory uh, uh, nerve from the somatosensory cortex will inhibit which that is arise from the brain so higher brain center which that is basically the PH, uh, PIH cell will be um, uh, inhibit and will not produce the inhibition of prolactin cells so inhibition will be removed it means the prolactin will produce more from the adenohypophysis so it means the prolactin will produce more how it's possible we will discuss here so uh, milk secretion will be stimulated from prolactin because prolactin is used for the milk secretion so this P, uh, PIH cell will be uh, stimulated by the inhibition remove due to the uh, several uh, condition for example, the uh, weeping of child as well as other uh, physiological uh, and, and physical um, changes. So in this way, the basically is the oxytocin on the other hand. This oxytocin is released from the oxytocin neuron uh, which that stimulate the uh, hypothalamus to pituitary gland to neurohypophysis which that is basically stimulate the oxytocin and production of oxytocin increase in this way the increase of the oxytocin will increase the smooth muscle contraction so the oxytocin will stimulate the smooth muscle contraction of the memory gland and will milk ejection through a smooth muscle contraction so in this way the baby which that contain a baby contain a mechanoreceptor so this mechanoreceptor will stimulate by sensory nerve by the sensory pathway or sensation of a touch or slight pressure so on the other hand the weeping of the child will give the sound to their higher brain center the somatosensory cortex due to hearing so this hearing of the weeping of child will stimulate the oxytocin and oxytocin will more increase to increase the pair bonding with the female with their young ones and smooth muscle contraction again to milk ejection so in this way the prolactin is also prolactin is also play important role for production of milk while the secretion of milk through oxytocin by the contraction of smooth muscle and in this way here you can see that is the memory gland so let's begin to understand the memory gland this memory gland is by the baby suckling which that is milk eject to uh, increase the oxytocin in this case due to the mechanoreceptor in the nipples and 
on the other hand the milk secretion will be uh, stimulate and the uh, secretion of the milk will also stimulate more the smooth muscle contraction due to the more production of oxytocin due to the positive feedback um, feedback mechanism so in this way the secretion of milk will be produced on the other hand here we will discuss about the uh, mammary glands contain a lobules these lobules contain a many many type of cells and these cells basically is contain uh, uh, used for the secretion and provide the adipose tissue uh, provide the fat as well as other uh, secretion to uh, mix into the milk for uh, baby nourishment to the baby so here is the structure of the lobule one part this uh, lobule lets uh, is present which that is contain a basal cell here and this is basically the mammary gland so the basal cell is uh, inner side while the upper side is the endothelial cell so inner cell is the basal cell which that is the overall lobule contain a basal cell inside of the basal cell is the laminal cell this laminal cell is used for the secretion of milk into the lobule so the endothelial cell we will discuss and the character of endothelial cell endothelial cell is exchange of carbon dioxide and oxygen and solute transport transfer of solute macromolecule and contraction also so it in this way the uh, uh, it contain oxytocin receptor on the endothelial cell which that is oxytocin will be bind to contraction of the smooth muscle so in this way this is the smooth muscle appearance in this case here is the lobule while on the other hand the adipocytes are present in the form of yellow color and the immune cell macrophage such as and stellate cell as well as the monocyte are present which that is uh, used for the defense mechanism and give the response by the inflammatory response uh, inflammatory uh, cytokine produced to uh, get a positive response so in this way basically is the fibroblast is also present which that is extracellular matrix production collagen fibro fibronectin laminis and proteoglycan which that is the proliferation of these things through a fibroblast basically the fibroblast will convert into the fibrocytes so on the other hand the more secretion due to the adipocyte stimulation to produce fat this fat will be mixed into the milk so the milk contain a lactose so next next here we will discuss about the mechanoreceptor in nipples so the nipples contain a very high sensitive mechanoreceptor mechanoreceptor means the touch and pressure will stimulate and this stimulation will lead to move into the cervical spinal cord through sensory uh, nerve so sensory ganglion which that is the dorsal root of ganglion will move and move into the gray matter of the spinal cord and after the move into the gray matter to fasciculus cuneatus will which that is present and this fasciculus cuneatus will be ascending second order neuron Uh, from the first order neuron to uh, to move into the medulla from the spinal cord and move and into the medulla where the nucleus cuneatus are pre- uh, nucleus cuneatus are present this nucleus cuneatus will be third order neuron uh, sorry sec- uh, second order neuron but this nucleus cuneatus will lead to uh, move the nerve impulse toward the midline of the medulla and after this midline of the medulla basically go into the pons and here is a med- medial laminiscus um, nuclear medial laminiscus nucleus which that is present in the pons that is why it is known as a medial laminiscus pathway and it will be lead to move into the ventro ventro posterior lateral nucleus of the thalamus thalamus will be receive the central uh, central relay uh, part of the brain and after this central relay of the um, brain 
so that is will transmit the signal to the somatosensory cortex where the breast side so both sides uh, somatosensory cortex will lead to a sense it means the left side of the breast will uh, control by the um, uh, control by the uh, right side of the brain and vice versa so in this way the uh, sensation of touch a sensation of touch as well as the stimulus of the lips of the baby will receive the signal as a sensory signal mechanoreceptor in nipples which that is stimulate and further so my higher brain center will stimulate to production of oxytocin by the pituitary gland so in this way the positive feedback mechanism will be occur